Anna J is a Palmer Johnson 120, full aluminium with a planing hull. We do around 30 knots. Actually fantastic build. The quality of the boat is fantastic. I've been in the business now for about uh, 30 years, actually this is my 30th year, on boats, running all sorts of vessels, uh, from 50 metre motorboats to sailboats. I've now reached around 280,000 nautical sea miles and uh, I took over on a J about two years ago. One of the first problems we had was the stabilisation of the boat. We have an exi existing stable stabilisation system for underway, which was actually okay, but as soon as we stopped and anchored, this is where the problems began. We did the first season, the children got sick, uh, some of our charter guests got seasick, and uh, the boss was pretty adamant about me looking into finding a system that could uh, not only work at sea, but could uh, work while at rest, while at anchor. So I did a lot of study and came up with what is a fairly new system that Slyton had brought out. They're offering a really compact system which we could put in our existing, under our existing floor, hook into our existing hydraulic system, which has meant, I have to say, outstanding results. It really has made a massive difference to uh, the way we run the boat. We traditionally have been going into marinas at night. We found now that we're spending a lot more time at anchor because we can go to places that, yes, there is a little bit of swell, put the zeros on, and we're spending our time in nature, outside under the stars in a bay. So basically, you can, you can be at anchor, you can enjoy all the, all, the, all the things that big boats have to offer in that 50, 60, 70 metre range on a vessel of this size, which is fantastic. One of our main concerns that we had before we put the side power slightly system in was the effect that it would have on our top end speed. I'm, I'm really happy because nobody actually knows 100%. I'm really happy to say it took probably a quarter of an off a knot off our top speed of 30 knots. You're not breaking as much stuff. I mean, televisions used to fall out of cupboards in the old days, you know? It wouldn't be the boat that would be break up. It, cupboard doors would be opening and slamming and banging and doing stuff like this. Once you've got this fantastic system on board, you're cruising flat through the water. How is the, the noise of the system compared to other, other options available for you out there of zero speed stabilisation? And for me, that was a big surprise at how quiet the system was, because I'd heard many rumours about different stuff. But to be honest, it is no more than a regular air conditioning unit that is operating in a cabin. And for me, that's acceptable, and that's acceptable for guests. The bottom line is the cost, the overall cost versus the value of the boat. So for me, what Sleitner offered was something very, very competitive in price with respect to the other manufacturer of zero speeds. So as far as an investment on your vessel, it's got to be one of the top ones. As far as resale value, I know my boss wouldn't consider buying another boat that didn't have zero speed stabilizers, or it'd be the first thing that we would do is put them in. It gives people back what, they, what their values were of being at sea. It brings back the enjoyment, you know? As far as the kids are concerned and the guests on board the boat, they don't get sick anymore. They can enjoy the boat as they should. The results speak for themselves, you know? We have a very, very compact, quiet, zero-speed stabilising system, which you would not know is on board.